Hey y'all, it's Teresa with One Heart Bible Ministries, and I wanted to take a minute today just to share with you an idea that my brilliant friend came up with, and that was using greeting cards in her Bible journaling. She was cleaning out a bunch of stuff and found a lot of greeting cards she just didn't want to throw away. And what she realized is that there were pieces that she could cut out from that and use in her Bible journaling. Now these can go into an interleave Bible. She did these actually for our mission Bible, but you could also use them as tip-ins, or you could use smaller pieces in your margin Bible. But isn't this pretty? Look at this, and all of this, instead of paying uh, large dollars for ephemera, you can cut stuff out of greeting cards that people have given you. It got me to thinking about my mother had saved every birthday card anybody ever gave to me. And a lot of those are really cool and vintage looking. And I would love to put those in my Bible. And she, look at this, she did this from a greeting card. And then she printed the words out on her Cricut. So cool, all of this done from greeting cards. And I'm gonna show you um, ways. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And you could just, without even putting it on a page, you could just use this piece in your Bible. Um, another thing, let me look at, look at this, look at how pretty that is. She also shared with me some pieces that she had cut out. And look, you could just, all you, just uh, arrange them on your paper and you've got a simple page that's really gorgeous done. Look at that. This is the front of a card. This would be a really cute tip in. Always remember and then you could use this part. God is watching you. Put that on there. All these little pieces why pay when you've got them stored away in a box somewhere just waiting to be cut out? All right, now I'm going to show you a card that I found, and we're going to actually use it in my Bible. Found this cute girl, old, old card. You can tell it's old. Cut her out. I'm going to use it on Proverbs 31, 25 which says strength and dignity are her clothing and she laughs at the time to come. It made me kind of think about what that means, but we're gonna start off, I'm gonna mask over, I'm gonna put a background behind this. This is some stuff that I found that I just love. It's called Stamping Mask Paper by Inka Dinka Do. And I cut this out to the right size and I'm gonna put it over my scripture, the part that I don't want to cover with anything else. And the cool thing is it's gonna peel right off. You can watercolor over this. I think that's actually what it's mostly made for, but you can watercolor over it and it won't bleed through or get through the edges. But I'm gonna to use today my Faber-Castell Gelato, which I haven't used those guys in a while. And I might as well get these wipies ready because we're just going to cover this page in some yellow for a background. I should probably put something underneath this just so I won't bleed through to the page underneath but you know me. See you can tell I already did it. I already did it. I already messed it up. That's all right. Nothing we can't fix, right? All right. Now I'm going to yellow down over here and see I can just do it right over that piece of paper actually I will slide a little piece of paper in here just to make sure I don't get it too crazy so I'm gonna do that and I should have probably done it on the other side and use my little wipe to smooth it out And I've got my page covered in yellow, okay? No need to prep the page. It's not gonna go through and cause any problems. All right, now, typically we would dry it, but we're just gonna peel this masking paper off and look, voila, Woo! is that not cool? Okay, so not only 
was this the perfect verse with just the right enough room to use this? But love this verse because when I looked at her and I was looking at strength and dignity or her clothing, you know, I've always wished that I was that person that was just a little lady, but I never could pull it off. And when I was trying to look at what does it, what does this mean? Um, and she laughs at the time to come. What does that mean? And I think it means that her inner divine wisdom, her inner godliness makes her have no fear of what's to come. She literally can laugh at it because she knows what her future holds. And immediate consequences basically mean nothing to her because she knows the end of the story, right? So you can, she can laugh. All right, now I'm going to put, ah, uh, before I put that down, just because of the way it's going to lay down, I've decided I want to line this verse with this glittery, glittery washi tape that I'm going to use elsewhere as well. But we were talking um, actually last night about the fact that I had a boss one time and he told me I was annoyingly happy. I'm for real, y'all. He said, nobody is that happy all the time. And quite frankly, it's annoying. Well, I, you know, you would think that's stupid and don't pay any attention to somebody like that, blah, blah, blah. But I went home and bawled my eyes out because he was basically attacking my whole being, my whole character, my whole personality by telling me I was annoyingly happy. And people that don't have the joy of the Lord can't understand that. You know, it's not that I think everything is, that I don't ever get sad. You know, it's just that I've got an underlying joy, I think, or at least try to, if that's the way I feel. This is a little bitty thin, glittery washi tape. It has come in handy so many times, but I outlined that, and I wanted to go ahead and do it before I put her down. Now, she's already got the sticky on her, and I wanted her to be kind of swinging in. And I'm going to put her in like this. And then I'm going to trim off the edges. But this came from an old, old greeting card. Get those boxes out. Start going through them. Old greeting cards. Old books. Children's books. There's so much good stuff out there that you can draw from. And things that you just want to keep a memory of. And I thought, what greater way to keep a memory of some of those sweet things that were in your life than to put them in your Bible. So I printed this off. Actually, I did this on my Cricut, but you could handwrite it. You could write it on here, whatever you want to. The strength and dignity are her clothing, and she laughs at the time to come. I used some scrapbook paper, and there's my um, thin washi tape again, and I'm just going to put this in here. Let me get some tape on it. This is a Tombow. Um, I bought this one. It's a little bit, got a little wider um, stripe on it, but I got it at Walmart because it was on sale. It's Tombow Extreme Permanent Adhesive. And just going to put this baby down in here. You'll notice I don't do any lining up. <laughs> I don't try to make everything perfect because... It would be a wash for me if I did. But how simple was that? How simple was that? Greeting cards are your friends, guys. Greeting cards, old magazines, old... Um, you know, I've, I've been thinking a lot about maybe doing like a faith junk journal where I have more room to put a lot of things that mean something to me, but more still faith-centered. So if you like this video, give us a big thumbs up. 
hit subscribe and the little bell if you want to be notified about future videos. I know there's nothing new under the sun, and some of you may have already been doing this, but this was new to me and a great idea, and I just was excited to share it with you because I want to pull out my old cards. Um, also, we have a Facebook group. It's called One Heart Bible slash Bible Journaling. If you have not yet um, joined us, please feel free to do so. We are only going to extend the Mission Bible entries for two more weeks before we finish out this one. So the address is in the description, as well as all of the supplies that we've used for, um, for this page. And as always, share the love of Jesus with everybody you meet. Bye.